Good day everybody, Hormone How here from the Umpire Roundabout Australian indie band. Finally doing part four of Hormone's Hard Rock House. Wearing my Barley Family t-shirt that the guys there at Barley Family Tattoo Cooter gave me last time we were there. So if you need a tattoo and you're in Barley, check out uh, the Barley Family Tattoo mob there in Cuda, they're a great bunch and uh, they do a great job, look after you. Hope you enjoy the series as I said before and we're going to move right on to it right now. Thank you. And just remember, like or don't like, comment and subscribe. Help us out, we need you to subscribe, that would be great. New song coming out very soon also. Thank you. Peace. And here we are with part four. And uh, this part of the house is actually my patio, which I filled in myself and uh, making it a room. Just got various pictures around the place. This is a really groovy Who poster. I've got in my IKEA frame. I can't explain. I think that was around 1965 that that song came out. Great song and uh, great great poster. So we've got John Lennon Rolling Stone magazine there. And the Beatles remastered came out. Mouth Jagger, and then we got all shook up Elvis uh, single, red single. It's a nice little uh, picture there, and I'm really into uh, the Buddha thing. That's a Buddha light I got in Bali. I can't remember now, a couple of years ago, and uh, I like my candles and lanterns and stuff. And this is the area where I have it. Uh, heavy road clock there I got from my girlfriend Miss Squeak's son I think it was for my birthday it's cool lanterns people buy me lanterns and stuff because I know that I'm into that sort of stuff and we got uh, Pink Floyd the wall picture and Whatever you're thinking, think bigger. I think that every time I go for a wee, but anyway. <laughs> and uh, another present. Uh, a bit hard to get the light out of the way. Filming again at night and I've got a, a light, a filming light on. But anyway, it's uh, different scooters lined up, which is really good. This was out of the uh, newspaper. When Ringo came to, uh, it's a bit crooked there, just fix that. I don't like the Beatles at all. As you can see, I've got them on my arm. John Paul, George and Ringo, you see that? The tattoo. The Barley Family Tattoo did that. So this is a uh, poster that was in the... Uh, paper when Ringo and his all-star band came to town it was a great concert me and Miss Squeak had a great time there Ringo was surprising surprisingly um, great live and uh, his drumming was great his vocals were great the whole band was great the sound was great it was a great night and uh, there's a picture of Rocky United back in the 70s can't really make him out but that's me dad there my dad passed away when I was 10. He had a work accident and uh, I'm very proud of him and he was a great footballer. Just a couple of pictures, I'm just going back over the Rocky United picture. Uh, there's my dad's dad, my granddad, Harry Howe. He was a great guy, great granddad. A few of the boys there from Rocky United back in the day. Johnny Jones. What have you? Yes, 
This is a picture of, uh... It's my mom. My granddad again, how the hell? My mom's brother, my uncle Brian. His wife, my auntie Leslie. My nan and pop. He was in the, uh... He's the guy in the other episode that was uh, near the anti-aircraft gun there with the shell. That's my other man and my stepdad, Jeff. They're at uh, Flinders Hall in Rockingham. That's gone now. I knocked that down. That was in the late 70s. Had a do. I'd say it's a sock club do or something. Yeah. And of course, Good find in Bangkok at the uh, weekend market there. Vespa bag. Oh yeah. I call this room the Love Shack, and that's why I had made in Bali the Love Shack sign. We've got over here another Beatles picture. That's a good one, and I think they're in a. Uh, in the name of the car now, but anyway, good picture. Picture of George, a little mate, George Wobble. Beautiful picture of Miss Squeak. And a beautiful picture of uh, Hormone Howe on the guitar. Looking uh, a bit thinner than I am now at the moment. I've eaten too many pies and I've become a fat bastard at the moment, but anyway. This is all little stickers and stuff I've collected. And I just put them in a frame. Beatles and Who and what have you. Pictures, magazine pictures I've cut out of Beatles. Love Beatles. Small faces picture. Barley masks, which are really nice. And of course, my Jamaican musos jamming away there. Keyboard player, piano accordion player. Got they've got reefers in their mouths. Uh, you know, uh, medical marijuana. It is. Sax player, lovely set of teeth on him. Another keyboard player, bongo man. He has got a reef, I don't know if you can see that. And then we've got the lady with a nice set of knockers, <laughs> crate of uh, grass, guitarist, Billy Marley, a distant cousin of Bob, and another sax player there. And that's the actual poster that I bought at Ringo's concert. I hope they come back. Australia. And of course John and Yoko. This is a Thai picture, three pictures in a set that I got in Bangkok a few years ago when I was there with my sister. We had a bit of a nip tuck holiday. And uh, here we've got Woodstock poster which is pretty good. This was a Pearl Jam concert I went to in Perth, West Australia. Got the tickets there. Good tickets. I went as two different people. And this is um, an autographed drum skin from Mr. Simon Phillips and his uh, autographed drumsticks. Magic drummer. He sessioned with Pete Townsend and who and many and he's uh, the current drummer of Toto and he was just amazing and a really nice bloke groovy curtains my old man chair I got from a I got from a hop shop as we call them here in Australia 
that was five bucks it's a ripper an old man chair so that's that sort of area my pizza oven and barbecue this is the back of my house and my insect killer that I got from uh, Zappa that I got from Bali it's a ripper it's great fun sitting there just zapping insects as you do